Democracy 2020, due to the unprecedented number of people early voting in Marion County, Clerk Maya Eldridge will extend early voting hours beginning tomorrow. So, to, so tomorrow through Friday, you can vote early in Marion County from 8 a.m. until 9 p.m. That's two extra hours. The polls will be open each day. On the weekend, voting hours will be 10 a.m. until 9 p.m. That's for extra hours per weekend day. Then on Monday, November 2nd, voting hours will be from 8 a.m. until noon. Long voting lines in Marion County continue even with more machines. Some polling places are still averaging wait times of three to four hours. WRTV's Troy Washington is live from St. Luke's United Methodist Church where voters are still in line waiting. Troy, how's it looking over there? Well, good news, they're down to about a little over an hour wait here. So that's good news for Hoosiers who are standing in this line. There are 24 polling machines inside, and we told you over the weekend that there were less. They've added some more, so that's kind of helped the flow of things. Over the weekend, there was an eight-hour wait, so three to four hours, not so bad when you look at that. But that can be tough on Hoosiers regardless. I started to come yesterday. I said, you can't do it on your day when you get ready to go to work, you gotta do it when you're on a day off. That's what many Hoosiers are starting to find out. In order to make their vote count, they're going to have to have a plan and some hours to spare. I got up about 9.30 and uh, got prepared to come up here. I made a phone call first to see how far the line was wrapped around the building. And then I said, I gotta get on up and get on up here, make my vote. Kelly Morris came out with her chair to make sure she's comfortable while she waits her turn to vote. I brought my coffee because I forgot my coat and I needed something to keep me warm and a chair, which I really haven't needed because the line has been moving pretty consistently. <laughs> when we caught up with Jennifer Ware Harden, she'd already been in line for two and a half hours. I used the Indie Votes Times, uh, dot org, so I was prepared for a wait. I did notice that after I got here that downtown was only like 80 minutes, but we were already invested, so we stayed. The Marion County Clerk's Office has added polling machines to speed up things inside. They're up to 24 machines and they are all spaced out to allow social distancing throughout the voting process. Some voters say they don't mind the wait as long as they are safe. We were expecting a wait. We got here about a half hour early. And so we've been here since uh, uh, 1030. We were determined to vote. So whatever it took, <laughs> we were willing to do it. Yeah. And the thing I like about it is, number one, people are adhering to some kind of social distancing. But the other is that we made a couple of friends sitting in line and smiled at a few people in different uh, lanes. Take a look at that line. As you can see, it's moving right along. People haven't been waiting as long. We mentioned it's a little over an hour wait here. And if you are in this line by seven o'clock, you will still be allowed to vote. Now, all the voters that I talked to, they said that they've been kept updated through newspaper and just watching us. And we'll continue to bring you the latest on this reporting live on the north side. I'm Troy Washington, WRTV. The number of people who are voting early in Indiana continues to skyrocket, and that's evidence based on the early voting lines we show you every day, including this one right here. More than 1,178,000 Hoosiers have already cast their ballots. This is according to numbers from the Secretary of State's office compiled by the U.S. Elections Project. The total number of votes cast so far is equal to 42% to the final presidential vote in Indiana in 2016. Early voting runs through November 2nd. Election Day is November 3rd. And let's take a closer look at Marion County. More than 125,000 Marion County residents have cast a ballot either in person or by mail so far. That's according to the clerk's office. For perspective, in 2016, Marion County had more than 42,700 ballots cast at this time. In 2012, 32,000 people had voted at this point. And in 2008, 28,000 people had voted early in Marion County by this date. So early voting in 2020 so far is outpacing years in recent memory. 
And a reminder, if you are voting by mail, your completed ballot must be into your county's election office by noon on Election Day. Again, that is November 3rd. That is one week from today. At this point, mailing your ballot will be cutting it close. You can always take your ballot to the county election office in person and drop it off to make sure it's in on time.